Hey everyone, it's Thursday the 3rd of August and it's 7.25 in the evening. Today's video, we're going to be looking at some model railway stuff that I picked up this afternoon with my stepdad's help. Was, uh, yeah, I wouldn't have gotten this on the moped. <laughs> and it was um, too far out of town to actually use like my trike or something like that. I wouldn't have got it all on the trike either. So... I was browsing Marketplace again last night. I, I do that on a somewhat regular basis. It must be at least three times a day. And I'm actually glad I do it because I found an absolute bargain here. Um, my stepdad's actually had some stuff. I sold it to him. Because um, when we got it back to his, I went through all the buildings and whatnot that were here and just kept the ones that. I wanted and I feel I could make use of um, yeah he actually got a complete farm farmhouse a couple of farm buildings a tractor washing bay all sorts I haven't got the room for a farm on mine and I don't really need a farm on mine because I'm doing a little village scene in the middle so I was to start the buildings that I could use in a village scene really um, don't know if I can fit everything that's here though. Uh, in fact, there is one building here I don't want, and my stepdad didn't want either. So I'm going to see if my friend Kat wants it for her layout. Uh, might be a few other bits as well. We're going to test some locos because I did get a few locos and some other bits of rolling stock and a few vehicles here. Now I believe my friend Kat has also got some N-Gage stuff and I've got a couple of N-Gage vehicles here um, she might want for hers. I don't know if she's changed her mind and going to go N-Gage over o -ga um, double O-Gage. I haven't actually spoken to her for a few, few, few couple of weeks, something like that. Anyway, yeah, um, on Marketplace they advertised a job lot of buildings for 20 quid, the lot. Um, a job lot of scenery making stuff, you know, ballast, grass, um, and other various, I suppose you'd call them powders, you know, that you put down for different types of surfaces. Uh, 20 quid. Big box full. And a box full of trees for 15 quid. So I inquired about all three because I thought well, there was a hell of a lot of scenery stuff that I could basically get my layout done with that for quite cheap, you know, 55 quid total, and it was. Um, and while I was going back and forth with Methodist, Methodist? I don't know. No idea what happened there with my tongue, but it came out as Methodist. <laughs> I was thinking messages, so I don't know where the th came from. Anyway. Um, she said, you know, her husband has got other stuff, you're more than welcome to have a look when you come over. So, I arranged to get a ride with my stepdad. And he's got a model railway as well. He actually bought a few bits from him himself. Uh, just some park items that were actually made by the guy himself. There's a slide, I think a roundabout. Um, swing set and a seesaw, all made by the guy himself. Uh, and a load of scale vehicles which were more suited for his sort of layout than mine. I could have used a couple of them on mine, but I thought, yeah, I've got quite a few of them now, I'll let my stepdad have them. Um, yeah, there was a lot more there. Unfortunately, he'd already... Um, he said he'd taken the running locos to a shop and sold them there, but I don't know what shop. <laughs> I don't know. There, might be, uh, there used to be a model shop in Cromer. So I don't know if that is still open, if that's still trade. Maybe he sold them there. Or you can um, sell them to a model shop that's in Norwich. Um, Great Eastern Model Railways, I believe it's called. I've been following their Facebook page for a couple of years now. Actually, 
more than that, probably about three or four years now, and I still have not been in the freaking shop to go and buy some. I've always promised myself I would buy at least one brand spanking new locomotive for my collection, and I still haven't done it. <coughs> I'll do my drink. There it is. Right. I do apologise if you hear like a loud hum in the background, that's the fan. I've put it on the microwave. I haven't got nowhere else to put it at the minute. The worktop is full. And it seems to be um, rumbling quite well on there. <clears throat> right. I want to start with the buildings. I'll just give you a quick glimpse of the worktop at the minute. Look at this lot. There's even a box on the floor. That's just trees in there. I will, I'll open the box up and show you, but I'm not going to get every tree out because I'll be here all night. I don't want to be here all night because I've got another video I want to film after this one. I've been neglecting my gaming channel too much. Which I'll link to in the description down below if you want to check that out. Right, so I have no idea what this is. Schenker & Co. I just took a liking to it. I've always wanted to build like... Um, I can't glue that roof on there. But I've always wanted to build like a little... 176 scale diorama, not just on based on with the model railway, but you know, just little dioramas. I, I might use that for that. That looks like some sort of these are plastic as well. This isn't cardboard, it's got Faller written on it. Oh, it's made in Germany. Oh, yeah, that's right, because Faller is German. Apparently, my fan has vibrated its way off of the microwave. Worse. <laughs> Let's just stand it there, shall we? The Fowler also do a system that allows you to uh, run vehicles on a road to motorise vehicles. You cannot get it here though. You'd have to import it from Germany and it is not cheap. Fun, but not cheap. But I just noticed with these, what I like about this is the, the plastic sliding doors. On proper like little runners at the top there just like they would be in real life for a plastic model that's quite nice I've just got to sort that roof out the plastic panel has come unstuck that side but the cardboard bit has come unstuck in fact I quite like the plastic roof on that so I might just peel this off I don't know Quite like the cardboard as well. I haven't decided on that one. Um, I've got a few different station buildings in here. We've got this one. The big grand doors at the front there. Then you'd have your platform running up there. That's why there's a gap there. And you'd exit doors there. I'm guessing there would be steps inside if that was a real building. So. My station is going to be ripped up. I don't want that. So if um, if Cat sees this video and she wants my old station, she's more than welcome to it because I'm not going to be using it anymore. Um, something just fell out of this. <laughs> this one does need some repairs. I'm not too worried about the fact the whole chimney's disappeared off of that, but I will put a couple of chimney pots on that. That's not what actually fell off, is it? No. I can see it. Um, it's a broken pallet truck. It's lost the handle. Oh well. Uh, I'm probably not going to use my platform either, so I'm going to probably hit eBay and find a new platform. So I've got that option. And then we've got chimney stack on that one that needs um, repairing. I've got this one that would actually sit on a raised platform. Which I think is more villagey as I'm going for a village theme. So, or I could go monstrous village theme <coughs> and put that one on there. I think that one's a bit big. 
But as I want to do an end to end at some point on a shelf, I'll probably keep that for that one. Um, let's put that on here out of the way for a moment. So at the moment it's a toss up between this one and this one. This one or this one. I like both. <laughs> I've just realised this is actually on a bit of wood. Might make um, putting lights in it. Oh no, it won't. It'll be fine to put lights in that. <clears throat> None of the chimney stacks are actually glued in, they're just sat in place. We'll just have to glue them in. If I'd known that, I would have taken these off before transporting them and just put them back on afterwards. I've got to try and get my old station up now and platform up without actually wrecking it. Uh, I'm also going to be changing my train shed. So if Cat wants that, she's more than welcome to that as well. And it's even got some LED lights in it. Because I'm going to be using this one. I think this one is actually identical. Or well, at least very similar. But this one's better made than mine. You can get a little office on the side. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely put this one in. So I've got the engine shed. I've got a row of terraced houses here. Needs um, some chimneys sorting out. You know, nearly every second-hand building I've ever gotten hold of has always needed the chimney sorting out. They seem to be the weakest point. It's because when they're transported like this, they easily get knocked. But they're easily fixed, so... Here's a nice sort of row of terraces here. 1921, apparently. Now, they're not divided in there, so I wouldn't want a whole lot lit up at once, I don't think. I'd rather have them individual, but that would mean putting in somehow some partitions, and I don't really want to do that. I don't know. It'd be easier just to put an LED strip sort of at the bottom, wouldn't it? Find out where I want to locate this, mark out the gap here, and then just put a little LED strip in it. This is the one I don't want. That's a little plastic fella one. It's actually got a shop on the end, so I'll put that to one side. I'm going to take some photos of the stuff I don't want and send them to Cat actually. What we got here. I don't really know why I kept this so. Yeah, I can't remember if there's a reason why I kept this one or not. <laughs> uh, it's another... It's a good shed, I think that's what that's meant to be, but it's not in English. But you can always change the labels and put English names on it. Uh, I mean, that could go on an end-to-end, -end, but nah. I knew I'd change my mind on a few of them. That one I'm going to give to my stepdad because that's another um, farmyard building. I didn't realise that was in here. Um, I'll take that over with me tomorrow. This one I wanted. Little village garage. Um, Lloyd's Motor Co. Stokes Garage, it's got written on the end. Service repairs and sales. I might have to just cut this bit of paper off he's put on there because I need to get to that and just fix the skylight. 
but uh, other than that, that's actually quite a nice spoon. And again, no chimney pots. Um, got a little shed. Nice little shed. I think we're nearly there for building. We've got a little bus stop. I'm not sure if it's actually a bus stop or like a mini station building, you know, for like um, a village. Tiny village. Mind you, that is set out more like a bus shelter. I just think that would make a nice village bus shelter. And, oh, well, one more after this. It's actually my second little cottage like this. I do have plans for that one as well, either on that layout or the shelf one. Now, I don't think my other one's actually got the porch around the front door. No, it actually it is slightly different, my other one. I'm pretty certain it doesn't have a little teeny window up there. It doesn't have cobwebs in the bottom of it either. <laughs> right. I'm trying to avoid putting anything there because there's a chimney pot there. Oh, I looked at this one, yeah. Oh, yes. There's some little trees that came in. I saw half these with my stepdad. There's probably going to be some scenery stuff left over that I'm not going to use. But until I use it, I'm not going to know, am I? Um, so I can't really give a great deal to cat, unfortunately. I've also got this. We'll have a look at that and that in a minute. Because that is actually quite interesting. Got a windmill. Now, I wanted to put a tunnel on one end of my layout. I was thinking of putting this on top somewhere. A nice little windmill. Oh, it rotates. Didn't know that. And a library, just because. God me. I suppose I could actually change that nameplate and make it a different building if I really, really wanted to. Is that a Fala one? I think that could be Fala. Right, I'm just going to smack these buildings back in here and try to put them somewhere out of the way. Gym. And yes, they did actually come in the wooden drawer. <laughs> that is how they came. Right, one last building before we look at those two little items there. A church. I don't know if this is going to fit my layout though. As in, this is quite big and it's actually not very well made either. That needs blue. We've got a lot of cobweb. No, there's nothing living in it. I have checked. And actually, there was, but it's dead. I don't know if you can see it. It's all curled up in a tight ball. It's dead. It's quite a large one as well. You noticed that when that was at Mum's. Um, I mean, I wouldn't mind the church. Like, perhaps up on the tunnel as well. Perhaps with the windmill. Although I think the windmill might look better on one of the corners. I'll have to play around, because obviously I want to get the layout down now, more than ever, so I can do a bit of... A bit more scenery work and some more roads and whatnot. Um, so there is a chance I may not be able to use every building because I've got some buildings uh, already through there. So there could be a few more going spare. Good judge. Just want to clean those cobwebs out of there. I have a feeling that was a house spider that was in there. Right, these items. This one, I can put the battery in this. I didn't know such things existed for um, 
DC locomotives, but that is a sound icky, and he made that funnel to amplify that because it only comes out of that stupid little speaker. And it's not very loud. But if I put this in, this little CR. Got a movement sensor there, that's what that is. If you keep it moving like that, it'll continuously uh, move, but every time you stop, the sound will come to a stop. Well, I've got to store it with the battery out because there is no means of actually turning this on and off. So I don't know what I'm going to install it on yet. Uh, my stepdad said if I put it on a big steam loco, it would have to be in like uh, the tender, especially with that on it. So yeah, that got thrown. There's actually a lot of stuff that got thrown in because they're moving home. Literally next door. I'm not kidding, they're moving next door to where they currently live. Um, as daft as it sounds, it actually makes sense. Because their son owns the house that they're moving into. Their son is looking to buy another house um, with his current partner. Um, and it's also a house that his son built 14 years ago, they were telling us. So they're going to move into that <laughs> and set in the current house. Right. I didn't know such a tool existed. This would have made my life so much easier to ballast my track. I'm actually tempted to rip all of that up and start again. Using this ballast applicator. So, yeah. There might be a few mods being done to my layout. There is one, that one corner on my layout that I'm not happy with anyway. So... You know, I'm not going to be too fussed about pulling up the track and just cleaning it down and relaying it. I have got some spare track. Both here and over at Mum's. Right, let's do the other least interesting box. We'll get the least interesting boxes out of the way, I think. You know, so This is literally just various bits of... Uh, I don't know what that is meant to be. There's a lot of Javis countryside scenics in here. I've got some um, clump foliage in a dark green. I'm not going to use I might actually half this pack and give half to Cat anyway. Because, like I said, I'm not going to use all of that. I should have another one in here as well, which is a lighter colour. Yep, yeah, I'll half this one as well. Um, some of these I'm not really sure, I'm not even sure why I kept them. Actually there is some in here I don't want. Neither did my stepdad. Um, there's just, a, there's actually a number of little packets on you might be able to give a... There's a lot of track ballast. There is a big tub full of track ballast. I took some out and put in the bag there. I've actually got like a bag in a bit. Um, that should be more than enough for my layout, so there might be some of that as well left over. I've got all sorts of different grasses and things in here, a bag of coal. Um, I don't know what that's meant to be in the pot of this. There's two of these in there, so I don't want. That's a bit too light for my liking, so I'm going to put that aside. That's a definite no. A definite no no. Um, I'm sure there's a few of these little baggies in here. Mm. Well, they're different. They could be different, actually. Oh, there is two the same right there. So there we go. I suppose you're all going to want to know what I actually paid for all of this, aren't you? I'm going to tell you that once I've shown you everything. 
But yeah, that's all it is really, just bits of you know, various um, coverings, I suppose you'd call it. I'm just going to use that for like a gravel effect, and gravel driveways and things. Um, I'm going to see what coal I've already got, because I might be able to give that one to Cat as well. I think uh, when Cat sees this video, she's going to be really excited. But no, she doesn't mind me using a name. That's a big rule I've always had, you know. If I haven't got their permission to use their name, I don't use it. But she has given me her permission. Right. Well, actually, I know there's going to be some trees left over as well. It's like a powder, got some more bloody grass there. That's a lighter colour. But yeah, this is basically trees and shrubs and stuff. So we've got a few little shrubs in there. Little apple trees. I may not want all of those, so I'll probably half those and give half to Cat. We've got some boxed trees here. Rest, I'm just gonna... That's it, it's just literally just various trees, fir trees, conifer trees, all sorts. Uh, a bag of them in there, didn't even realise that was in there. So, yeah, lots of trees. That's one, this is one of the reasons I want to get my layout down now, so I can actually try and sort out exactly what I want. Oh, there was a bag of stuff somewhere as well, here it is. I'm definitely not going to need all of this, so I think I can um, sort of, believe it or not, this is just like foliage, you know, that you'd find growing on the side of a cliff and whatnot, weeds, that sort of thing. <laughs> this is actually half of what was there. I'm going to step down half the box. Yeah, that's all it is. if you want to make like a little overgrown area or something. I'm probably going to use a lot of that on the side of my tunnel, so I definitely ain't going to need all of that. <laughs> so I can definitely sort of bit out for um, Cat. I've been saying her name a lot. She's getting a lot of shout outs. She loves it when I shout out her name. <laughs> um, I've certainly done that in this video. Right. Now these weren't actually advertised, these were in the shed because he was sort of dismantling things this morning. Um, we'll just let this uh, emergency vehicle go past. There we go. We did have some rolling stock there. A lot of this is actually too old for my stepdad because he hasn't got anything trying. Um, well, he hasn't got anything, you know, no track or anything that he can run the old triangles on. Whereas, I have. <laughs> um, yeah, I think the rolling stock and locomotive side of this hobby has really become a collection for me. Uh, but yeah, apart from the locos in here, the rest was just like, oh, you can chuck that in. You can chuck that in. I think they totaled it pretty much for that lot, 65 quid. I told you the price of that lot. <laughs> in total, I paid 120. Anyway, we've got this one half of this train. I haven't got the motorised ends. I'm going to see if I can find it on eBay. And if I can't, then I'll probably put this bit up for sale. It's a shame I haven't got the motorised end. Um, the fence panels in a bag there. We have got a hornby. Naturally, it's missing its coupling hooks. That's one reason I know it's a hornby. Blood and custard coach. A bit of a daft name. I don't know why they called it that. Well, actually, I know why they called it that, but I think they could have called it something better. 
And then we've got this, um, oh, it's a corridor coach. Ah, I didn't realise that. And uh, my stepdad was actually trying to figure out if that was hand painted or not. No, it doesn't look like it to me. There's another horny one. Oh, this one's got the coupling hooks. You better chalk that one up. <laughs> but I just wanted it because it's a different coach. I haven't got this one. There's something a bit different now I can stick on the track. I actually don't think I've got a Hornby blood and custard coach either. I've got some older triangle ones, but that one will run on my Hornby track. Uh, I've got something here that needs a set of wheels. What's this, what's this? Is this triangle any chance? No, it's double O. Hornby Dublin, Meccano Limited. Oh yeah. I'm going to see if I can find a pair of wheels for that and put that with all my Hornby Dublin stuff. <clears throat> Didn't realise that. <laughs> um, I've already got one car transporter and I've got a load of spare plastic cars so I thought I'll have that as well. And I do believe at least one of the other railings is in this box as well. Don't know if both are though. Now we'll test these in a minute. But I've got two triangle locos here. Actually I think I've got three in total. I think I might already have this one because I think it's either this one or the other one in here. I got with um or as part of a train set. But I'll have to check it. And we've got this one Ooh. with the cold tender. Apparently they run, but not very well. But he's trying to run these triangle locos on modern Hornby track. I tell you, the problem is with that, with these older triangle locos, these wheel flanges are a lot deeper. So you need the older triangle track, which I've got over here, which is a slightly deeper rail. Same width. Now it's the same scale, but the rail itself is deeper. Which is why I've got that track here, so we can actually try those. Um, we've then got this one, which I, at first I was trying to figure out what it was, but then I looked at the motor and the coupling on this and realised it's no lemur. In fact, I've got one of these all in black. It's just jet black. And it's a good runner. I don't know about this one though. I mean the black one is a good runner. I don't know about that one. This one is apparently totally dead. <clears throat> Cab needs a bit of repair work because it's coming apart there a little bit. My stepdad really wanted this as well. Um, I'm going to see if I can get it to work. If not, it'll probably just end up with something to sit on my siding. It'd be a shame because I really do like the uh, you know the wasp stripes on it. Uh, now I've got a motorised end to this old Triangle Pullman. I think that's the motor for this. Go in there like that. Now, don't know if this actually works. I can obviously even test the motor on the track, but if it does, great, because now I've got a spare because I have got the full set to this, I've got it off a friend of mine. Um, sometimes it will run fine and other times it will get extremely picky. This is actually missing the screw for that but I'm sure I can find something. So that's why I chucked that in the box as well because I thought well that will do for spares at least for my other one even if I can't get it to work. Then I found this one, it was actually in this box. Uh, that should run with Hornby. It's got some damage to the front of the body there, but yeah. If it works, great. If it doesn't, it could be used as a display piece in a siding. I think this, yeah, this is missing the back wheels, isn't it, as well. So that one may not go back together, but if the motor works, great. We'll have a spare motor. Yeah, that's meant to go on like that. Yeah, that is missing the rear wheels. Maybe I'll find something somewhere. 
So I have got a ton of spare wheels. Um, or third lost. So these are end gauge. And I remember Kat saying something about getting some end gauge stuff, so I'll put these over here with her bits if she wants them. We've got uh, what remains of a motorised chassis. In fact, I think it would work. It's just got to um, have these pickups put back in place. Oh, and this has actually got the screw on the top. Uh, no, this one won't work because it hasn't got any of the brushes or anything in there. But that's an old Triang motor. That would be handy for bits. Now, there's one more loco in here. We have got the Dock Authority shunter in black. I've got it in red and black now. I've been looking for one of these. It'd be great if the little light on the front works. I have got spare bulbs if it doesn't. Uh, there's just a, a few little um, vehicles I got. I'm sure I've got enough. I can't remember what it was though. Anyway, we've got a Land Rover missing one of its benches, so I might just take the other one out. And a little tractor. Um, got a um, fueling station. I don't know if I'll use that. Probably not, so I'm going to put that over with cat stuff because it's something she could put in her yard. Um, there's a couple of these in here. That one, I bet that's double O, isn't it? Or Triang. That's Triang. I've got another one here that I can make up. Yeah, these are Triang bases as well. And I can't change the wheels on these, but the fact this one is loose, maybe I could find a Hornby bogey that I could put that onto. Maybe I've got one. Just one moulding, so that's not going to work. Unfortunately, we've got a cattle wagon here as well. Ah, sweet! Both the railings for that car transport wagon is are actually in here. Is are actually in here? That was really good English. <laughs> oh, I don't know what that came off of. Oh, I don't know what it might have come from. the rear wheel for that so it is in here it's just missing the screw ah. I've actually got some wheels in my pocket because my stepdad picked up a nice uh, steam loco but it had the um, wheels missing from the front bogey from that bit both sets we found one set I did say you know I've got so many wheels here I've probably got some that will fit and I have found some that will probably fit right that's a bit dirty I'm looking rather aged so that would probably sit on a siding and because I don't have very many tankers I grabbed that as well a nice little white truck and This is possibly a kit built one. I just have to put that bit back up, but the roof is here as well. Well, it is actually um, a Hornby one. And true to form, it's missing one of the coupling hooks. I don't know why Hornby designed those coupling hooks because they're a pain in the ass. Stepdad bought a load of like Scammel and Fodden or ERF, I'm not sure what the trucks are, you know, sort of 40s and 50s trucks and things. Um, and there was some like cargo that went with them, so I let them have that because I thought I'm not going to need them. I could use them on something more modern, but yeah. I've got plenty here. Let's just put these railings back on here. Glad this is actually complete. 
I have got one of these boxed with the cars, so... Use something like the one around the track. There we go. It's actually got both cup hooks. Ooh. Right, that one is now complete. That is actually it for this box. We've got a bit of a uh, kitchen roll we've got in here. I don't know what that is. Oh, yes I do. I've just got a couple of vacuum hoses in to put on a loco for a bit of extra detail. I'm sure there was another a third vehicle. There could have been because I can't remember what it was. <laughs> right, I'm just going to put all the little bits of arm stock back in this box. Clear a bit of space on here. I might just glue those bodies back on these um, triangle ones. If the wheels could be changed, I would have given one to Kat so she could use it on hers, but they can't, unfortunately. Well, they could if you want to faff around trying to find the bearings to insert in the little holes and then put them in the modern wheel. That's a lot more faff, basically. That one I know is. You know, I want the motor off of that one. I'll just try that. That one hasn't got anything in it. It was that one. Right. And that can go in here. Okay. Scenix can go down here. I do. I honestly believe I've got enough scenery stuff now and enough buildings to basically finish my layer. And I never actually thought I would get it. Um, or at least I thought it was going to take a heck of a lot longer than it has. I apologise if the camera is shaking. You can blame Snow as she's chasing a, uh, a sponge around. Right. Let's take that. It would be great if I could get that to run as well. Let's do the uh, triangle. I've actually decided, because I do have quite a lot of triangle locos now, that as this is some spare straight track, I'm going to get another piece of this wood which I've got down in the shed and put this track on it so I'll have one for you know the modern Hornby and Backman and whatnot and Lima to go on there and then I've got one for the older triangle stuff. Right, where's my clippy wires? Here's my clippy wires. No, I don't want to pull another one off. I've already done that once. Right. I've already tested the track. It does work. Tested it on a different locomotive. I've actually tested it on Hornby, because Hornby will run on this track, as I've discovered. Because I've tested it with this one. It's just, you can't really run it vice versa. <laughs> Righty ho then, let's put this on, see if this motor's going to do anything. It might be that I've got to clean the wheels up. Nope, that is totally dead. There's no shorts, because my LED light's not dimming out. So I don't know. Okay, so the motor is actually free, that's good. And it's not short, so I'm guessing it isn't just it's just not getting power then. Is this missing the pickups maybe? I'm gonna have to actually look at the motor on my other pullman, I think, just to make sure this is complete. Uh but everything looks connected. We've got the main power wire coming up from... And this has actually got the pickups on it. The wire is there. So is it just filthy wheels? And we'll, we'll, we'll test these initially. And whatever don't work, I'll do a bit of cleaning on to see if we can get it to work that way. So... Will we get any life out of this one? Apparently not. Yeah, 
power to the track. Oh! If I push down on it. Yeah, so that is just dirty wheels. This one's got different wheels to my red one. My red one, so if you look at this one, this has got nice smooth wheels. My red one doesn't have that, it's got wheels like this one. I wonder if it's going to show up on camera. These have got like um, ridges, lines in them. That create a, like a geared surface, I suppose. I don't know if trying did that for a bit of extra grip on the track, but here's what my red one's got. Is this a. Uh, this could be a more modern one. I'm going to give the wheels a clean on that in a minute as well. Right. I'm just uh, crank the power down. I wonder if my track tool will work on this one. Yeah, it does. Don't need the. Uh, Tender on it. Ooh. Ooh. I had to give it a nudge, but it worked. This actually sounds really nice when it's running. So, again, I think these just need a general service. I don't think there's a lot wrong with them. That motor, that might be the biggest problem. But so far, with these triangle locos at least, <clears throat> that one's working right off the bat. It's actually working pretty fine. He said they didn't work that well. But like I said, he had Hornby track. These ain't going to run very well on Hornby track. Wait in that cold tender. Where did the other one go? Oh, yeah, I think the cold tender's in the box, isn't it? Right. I might be able to demonstrate actually as a nice swapping track. Let's just put that over here. I will need it. Power up this track. And we'll see if the triangle's gonna, uh, the lever's gonna work. for a split second. Yeah. Again. Needs a service. Might be all, but this needs to take them apart and servicing. But it's a Backman. And I don't know what Backman chassis are like. And as much as I'd like to look at this loco, I'm really not looking forward to that. He told me it didn't work. <laughs> he told me that did not work. That looked like that worked to me, doesn't it, you? That's working really well. Awesome. Awesome. Actually, I, don't, I thought this might have been a split chassis, but I don't think this one is. Oh, that was awesome. I got myself another... 06 of diesel shunner. Yes. Right. While we're still on. While we're still on. While we're still got the camera. Oh, I haven't tried this one, have I? The. No, it hasn't got the back wheels. But it tried to move. did try to move. Let's try it backwards again. I've got just a little nudge out of it. And that was it. <laughs> it does look a bit gunky though, so I think that's going to have to come apart properly and... Uh, I mean, there's all sorts of crap up there.
looks like these front wheels could be um, a pickup as well because there's a little copper plate under there. Now I wouldn't mind actually fixing that up. I know the front end is broken. I'm not too fussed. It would just be like a little plate. What the hell are you eating, Smudge? Right, there we go. Naturally, I spilled some on the bloody worktop. Right. See, let's just see if we can get a bit more life out of the dock, shall we? Oh, <laughs> yeah, I think. Oh, tripping over the cat now. I think that might be the problem. I think that might be a problem with a lot of these. So I'm going to clean these wheels up. We'll try again. I'm going to try it on this track actually. Oh, I've got it running. Because I think this one may actually run on that Hornby track. Oh, these are filthy. Absolutely filthy. No wonder that's been not wanting to run very well. Look, the ends of these are black. Literally black. That's what you don't want your wheels on your wheels. Hopefully this is just the problem, only problem, and this will nudge forwards a little bit. So I'll do the rest of the wheels. And that's just from going over all four wheels again. Just on that one. There's a lot of filth. Do we get any life now? We've got a bit more. nudged it along. Are you being a little bloody monkey again, Missy? I think this one would benefit from me uh, taking the body off and uh, servicing it, but I just want to see if I could get any life out of them. coming out just as black again. I'm not even looking. <laughs> I can hear her, I'm just not looking. She is a little bugger. caught a digging in that, well, what was a plant pot on my window ledge. Smudge killed one of my cactuses by pulling it out. So I repotted the other one because I was about to fall out of that old pot anyway, so I just had an empty pot sitting there. And she decides to get up there and go digging in it. I haven't put the photo up on Discord yet, but it will go up on there. Ooh, there we go, look at that. That's all it needed. That still needs a bit of a clean up. They're actually running well on that because I haven't given that track a clean, but I shouldn't need to because I wasn't done that long ago. Right, should we do the little lemur? Can't really use this. It hasn't got the right um, coupling on it. But I think for a little bit of fun around the track. Yeah, these wheels aren't as bad as that. I stand corrected. That wheel wasn't as bad as the others. This front one, on the other hand. <laughs> you see, the guy was just going to put these up on um, eBay as a job lot of spares or repairs. 
I was just like, no, 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 I'll have those. A nice little mix of, you know, old triangle and some modern stuff, so. Getting somewhere. Look at these con rods. Yeah, no, these rods are not actually connected to the front wheels. I don't believe I had a habit of doing that. Oh, they might be actually. I might be mistaken. Couldn't be the first time, couldn't be the last time. Forgotten what wheel I was up to now. No smudges in here, heaven knows about. Let's see where that gets us. Getting there with that one. I think it was a good old clean. Fine. Try this one. Last one. Last one, and then I'll call it quits for the video because I've got a short one I want to make for the game channel. I want to do it for a while. There's some dirt on this with these wheels as well. Even my stepdad knows he doesn't think the, uh, the Chaps Model Railway had been used for quite some time. Because you notice that a lot of the track had started to rust. <coughs> Which should indicate you know that it's not been looked after or used for a while. I don't think they, I think these have been left in that shed for quite some time. And they just haven't had a service. I think that's just the biggest issue with these. I mean, it's a dry shed. There's more junk off this wheel now. Right, let's see if we get any more joy out of that. That one might actually have further issues then. Oh, maybe not. Oh, it's not actually on the track. There we go. Well, I think if I keep at it with those wheels on that one, I could probably breathe some life into it again. Which is actually great, because for the job lot of locos, it only cost me 40 quid. Like I said, the grand total was 120 quid for the lot. So I don't think I can complain. You know, I was told this one was dead. It actually works. <laughs> um, these two Triang Steam Locos work. That one now works, still need a bit of service, but it works. That one I'll give a good service to as well, but works. And one there that isn't doing anything. I've got this one that ain't doing anything. Shut up. I'm going to try cleaning the wheels up on this one quickly. Oh shit. Just uh, pour IPA everywhere. Way more than what I needed for this. Because I bet these were. Oh my god. That's just that quick little clean on that one wheel. <laughs> mm. 
Do we think we've found the problem? I do. I think we have. Just try the other end of that wheel. Okay, so it's not as bad, but it's still black. Oh my god. I don't think this one's been used for a very long time. That is just two wheels. Maybe I did need that full lid of uh, IPA. <laughs> Ooh, that's, that's nasty. Get these cleaned up as best I can. Get that other bit of track back down here. That is all the locos I've collected over the past month. It's actually quite a lot, isn't it? Actually, the past two months, sorry. Maths never was my forte. About another 10 minutes or so, this video would have been going on for an hour. I've just been playing around with the uh, railway stuff. Once more. Right, I think we should see if that's going to do anything now. So, bring our test track back in. I can't see anything wrong with it or anything that's out of place, so we'll see. Connect the power up again. Doing anything at all. Um, how about if I connect one straight onto that and one well that seems to work so we got We've got a pickup issue then, haven't we? Because it's not working between the wheel. I'm actually starting to wonder if this has got pickups. Connected to this little board. Well, at least I know the motor itself works. I've just got to figure out why power's not getting from the wheel to that motor, I don't know. Well, there is no pickups under there. Well, that might be why. It literally just goes down to that point there. That is it. There's no pickups going from that. I bet they fell off. I bet that's the problem, I bet they fell off might somewhere have something that I can fix it with. But either way, I've got a spare motor. If I can actually find a screw, I could put that Pullman back together. If I can just find uh, a screw. Ooh. It's a shame I can't change the drive wheels. For newer wheels, because you can change these back ones quite easily for new ones. But yeah, that's now got to go in there. That motor actually runs better than my other one, so I might actually swap them. <laughs> oh, 
that's got to go with that chassis. I wonder, could I, could I do the same with this? Just to see if the motor itself runs. She made this, but it is actually different. to the other motors that I've got. Well, I've got something out of it, but I was holding the wheels as well. It wasn't. look into that one a bit further. Right, <clears throat> that is it for today's video. So I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you'll tune in for the next one where I'll uh, start trying to place these buildings and whatnot and decide what I want to keep and actually put on the layout. Apart from the two that I've got over to one side here. <clears throat> I know I don't want or need. So uh, yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Um, check out the video description down below for links to my other two YouTube channels and um, my Discord and Twitch. And feel free to check all of those out if you'd wish. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.